Let's understand a little about fluid pressure in this video. Now fluids basically include your liquids and gases. Okay? So what happens is that let's say you know there's a swimming pool. This is the water in swimming pool. As kids swim on this pool, they have these tubes which lie here. As the child gets into this tube and he pushes it below water, every time he pushes it below water, it comes back again to the surface. Okay? Now what happens here? When you push this down, the water pushes it back upwards. Why? Because that's the pressure which the water is applying on this tube. So as this tube gets immersed in water, the water applies the force to it and it gets back to the surface. So this is known as basically your liquid pressure. Now how about gases? The classical case for a gas is that of a balloon. So once person starts putting air in the balloon, a small balloon which is of let's say this size will start expanding, start expanding, start expanding and it will kind of form a complete big balloon. So what happens here is that as you start pumping air between from the face of the balloon this air start keeps on expanding the surface of the balloon it keeps on expanding keeps on expanding till it reaches a particular stage if you add more than this it will burst but otherwise it will keep on expanding so that's the pressure which a gas or the air causes on balloon Okay, so this is known as gaseous pressure. Okay, and together we call this as fluid pressure.